You can see the weight transfer very shortly. All right guys, welcome to another video. I'm super excited today. This is gonna be a really good topic for everybody who is basically getting their sleds ready for the season. Um, I've got Sean here from Team Chaos, and we're gonna be showing you guys today one of the best things I've seen on the market yet, um, which is his lift. But before we get into detail on it, my experience with lifts and dollies, I'm sure is probably gonna be like most. I've had three sets, of these garbage dollies from Royal. I've had six sets of these garbage dollies from Princess Auto. And I've also had a couple of different lifts. Um, I've had the red one actually from Royal, which I'm sure you're familiar with. Mm -hmm. And I've had another one that was actually uh, custom built out of, out of steel long time ago. I actually had the original Marlift too, which you probably, mm, the, probably the remember with the winch on it. The teeth taker owner. So I think, um, I think a lot of guys are gonna benefit from some of the information we're gonna give you guys today just on what is the best possible solution out there for the garage when you're wrenching on sleds, getting them prepped for the season. And Sean has basically been, uh, how long have you been in business now doing You've this? You've been building these for I think 12 years now? 12 years, so yeah. Sean's been doing this for 12 years, basically um, designed this lift from scratch and we're gonna go through it in detail, give you all the specs on it. We're gonna show you, we've got Jesse's new 2024 850, which I just picked up yesterday, and we've got a ton of work and a ton of filming actually to do today on it. So the timing's great, and Sean's gonna kinda of tell us a little bit about, uh, about the lift. So uh, let's get into it. Sean, give us a bit of an overview um, just on how you designed it and maybe some of the differences between this lift and some of the other lifts that are out there on the market today. I, I, well, this, this lift actually came about after watching the other ones fail and people having sleds fall off. And, um, and it, it's not rocket science, it's just pure, use some good material, use a good quality jack. You know, we don't have the weather stripping peel and stick on the crossbar. This is actually a pure gum rubber tubing that we actually make in house. Okay. Um, use a good quality jack, you know, a good quality steel. Um, well, it's, it's an 085, it's a little bit thicker than some of them. Um, it's not too thick to be too heavy, but it's strong. It, 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 it's designed to be light and strong at the same time. Um, yeah, I was shocked actually yeah, just lifting it, 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 it out of the truck, how light it I, is. I think it's 50 pounds, it's or 53 pounds. It's, okay. it, you can lift it with one hand. Okay. Um, again, just, you know, doing it right. Um, putting the little extra bracing there, in there that you need, quality bolts, spacers, It's and then powder coating. Right. Um, but yeah, watching the, watching other ones fail, you know, we, we, when we started 12 years ago, we would cut each piece, mark each piece, drill each piece, and now it's progressed into as we figured it all out. Now it's all laser cut. Everyone's perfect. Um, it's, it's just, it's great. It's, it's solid. Fun. And, I, and the one thing, I, I love welding. So it's, uh, I, I tell you, kind of take pride in making sure that it's done perfectly. Yeah, one of the things I noticed too is you've got kind of like this pad on the front part that the sled sits on. I remember some of the other ones were definitely a little bit cheaper. Yeah. And then the other thing I remember with the one from Royal is like those, the, the hardware that they use is garbage. Mm. And I remember how loose it would get. And I think that's why a lot of guys would have issues maybe mm. with them starting to wobble, but this seems like absolutely solid. I, I, right? I, would, I would say that some of the other ones, they're, they're designed to be packaged and shipped. Right. You know, I, I do these in a one piece. They, these are a pain to ship because just because of their size, it, it costs more. But um, you know, in the long run, you have a, a much sturdier, stronger product. Gotcha. And so um, one of the other things I thought that was pretty unique too is, um, and we'll, I guess we'll show this once we get into it, but the way you design even the wheels for it to be able to roll around the garage, yeah, like so how you're using two wheels on the Yeah, so on li side. listening to other people, they're, they're, they're like, oh, it's gotta have casters, but the little casters that are out on little, 
on the little brackets and they hang up on sand. Um, they bend. Yeah. Um, so we tried to come up with something that was a little bit more user friendly and bigger. So to get the bigger wheels in there, they're four and a half inch diameter wheels. Um, and, and using the center, the balance of the sled. So when, when you lift the sled, you'll see it, the weight will be back. You'll see the weight come forward. That's your, that's right where your balance kind of your is. Pivot point. But you can keep going up. Um, it'll go up to 27 inches. Um, even at that, it's still pretty easy to roll around. Um, but if for, for total ease, you back it back down to that balance point and it's perfect. All right, well, why don't we take a look and why don't you show us, um, you know, how we would get this sort of positioned and set up. Yep, and so it's pretty simple. The, the rear feet just fold down. And we can wheel it under. And then how far back are you putting it? We want to go just to the bulkhead. Yeah, and then, and we, then we can these. fold our feet back up. Hopefully in a nice position on the, on the perfect, tunnel. In a nice position on the tunnel. All right, so Sean, tell us a little bit about kind of the setup that you're using there to actually use the lift. Okay, so you can use you know hand hand tools on it. You can use a ratchet. If I'm lazy, but I like I like the power. Um, the cordless drill's fine. Even I, I've had even like 12 volt cordless drills will work fine. Okay. Um, as long as they got enough torque. Um, the cheap cheap ones probably not so much always try and stress not to use an impact. An impact is, is really hard on, on the jack. And it's a bulldog jack, it's a good quality made jack. It's not, the, it's not a $6 jack, um, but still we try and hit for longevity. A cordless drill is all you need. Awesome, and I see you're using a long extension, I, right? I, I prefer the long extension. You don't have to, you can get right down there. I just, this way I don't have to bend over as much. And uh, again, I guess I'm lazy. <laughs> All right, let's see how it works. I'm not lazy. I want to save my energy for sledding. <laughs> That's awesome. You can see the weight transfer very shortly. There it is. And boom. As soon as it gets to that point, it pivots over. And, and that's your nice point. And then. You can wheel it around, awesome. spin it in circles. You know, it's, that's, that's the simplicity of it. Let me try it. <laughs> so you just gotta balance it. And then pull. And turn it. Yeah, yeah that's you can, awesome. You, you can spin it in a circle. Definitely easy and lightweight, that's great. You can go all the way up. I prefer to not go too far. It'll go almost vertical, but then it rams, um, hits against the stop in the jack. I, again, trying to be nice to the jack for longevity. I try not to hit that stop all the time. Beautiful, and so you don't even need, so that's the other thing too that I like about, you know, the design. You say you're using a good quality jack, but you really don't need to do anything. As soon as you let off, it's solid. You don't need to engage. There's no, it's it automatically locked. Yeah, it's, there's it's, no lock or anything like that. Yeah, so there's, there's, there's nothing you can forget. Perfect. Yeah, now you can work on your sled with ease without killing your back. Oh yeah, this is definitely gonna make it easy to work on. So, Sean, one of the big things, obviously, I mean, knowing that, you know, we there's tons of different lifts out there and, you know, some guys have had issues. Talk to us a little bit about, you know, the, the warranty and on, on any of your lifts and, and how mm. you deal with that. Yeah, so we basically were, if you can bend it, break it, you, you bring it back, we'll fix it, replace it, or give you your money back. It's, it's, it's that, that simple. Yeah, it's that simple. It's, we stand behind it. Um, we do it with all our products, with our ramps, everything. If you can bend it, I'll fix it or give you your money back or replace it, whichever, whatever makes you happy. But you know, in, in the 12 years, we haven't really had to do that. So now most of, uh, like most of our audience is actually based in Ontario and obviously, you know, you're not too far down the street from me. Um, so I assume like, most guys are placing orders, coming to pick them up, yeah, obviously. Well, most people pick right? up. Um, we, and we do ship. We've, we've shipped up, up north, up Sudbury, Ottawa. I've, I have people drive from Ottawa. The, 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 they'll, they'll, they'll purchase and then, okay, I'll be down in three weeks. You know, we'll make a trip. And, but, you know, we do ship. It's just shipping gets, you know, I think to ship a lift, it's, you know, it's almost $200 now for shipping. Right. Um, it's $30 just for a box yeah. to put it in. So, you know. Shipping's gone crazy over the last few years. 
that's uh yeah we'll, we'll, we'll work with anybody and sometimes i'm going to ottawa i can take it up with me and and do it that way so and what about if i mean hey there there are lots of guys from the u.s too that are, are watching the channel i mean if mm -hmm. we i'm sure we could probably figure out if you know, oh, yeah. a way yeah. to get one yeah down we there. can we can get one down there it's again it's 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 going to cost a little bit for shipping but we, we work with some some uh, ltl guys that are that are actually some pretty recently they've become very reasonable again so awesome ship it shipping's getting back to normal but it's not and not um, like it used to be what about uh in terms of pricing what can uh, what can guys expect to be paying for for the lifts so these um our list price on these is 475 canadian um we, we've kel we've held that price probably now for I think the last four or five years. Okay, nice. Um, you know, price, the metal prices have gone up 20, 30% through COVID. They've come down maybe 10%. But through, you know, using good buying power and buying more, um, we, we, we've still been able to keep the price up. So it's one of the issues with these is you, you, you still have to compete with the Chinese made ones. Sure. Because everybody's all, oh, you know, to, to make to make this, you know, I, I can't sell it for eight hundred dollars. Right. <laughs> Although I'd love to, um, but I have to. Comp I still have to compete with. Oh well, I'll whatever just, else is. I'll okay. just go buy one from Princess Auto. I was like, that's not. Uh, you know, if that's what you want and that's what you can afford, that's great. I I, I don't put a twenty five thousand dollars slide on a, on a cheap Chinese made lift. Hundred percent, and you guys shouldn't either. So that's why definitely you want to be checking these lifts out, um, from Team Chaos. Um, I can't wait. I mean, we've got a ton of work today, so we're going to be doing, uh, you know, we'll, I'm sure we'll be using it like crazy. We've got three sleds coming this year. So Jesse's 850, my uh, is going to be coming shortly. And then we've got another sled coming as well. So we'll be doing a lot of work, uh, a lot of work on it. And I do put the Made in Canada sticker on there. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It's a, I, I, I'd like to have a sticker that says not made in China. Right. <laughs> but made in Canada works. Right on. Well, I hope you guys have a great season with it. And, uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing all these builds. Awesome. Well, I appreciate it and hope you guys uh, enjoy the video. Definitely check him out, Sean from uh, Team Chaos, and you'll definitely want to check out one of his lifts. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next right, one. Take care.